Okay, I'm in Loudoun County at One Loudoun, doing a little rehab trip, just getting out into the country again and so forth. I'm going to start talking about some more sensitive topics in my these little videos as I transition into a new way of working. Um, one of them is sexuality, and the fact is that when I was growing up, I was behind physically, both in strength and coordination, and grew up with the idea that men were supposed to physically protect women in their, you know, in their community or household or whatever, um, and suppo essentially supposed to be able to raise families, that that was sort of triangulated with the idea of not abusing women. Um, so the moral climate was more subtle than we think it was. That led to my placing a value on the physical aspects or external trappings of manliness and other men and i was only around white men growing up i you know society wasn't well integrated in the 50s and early 60s so that led to the and my father's comments and for that that led to me having a certain impression as to what is attractive and what isn't and i kind of lashed on to that. Um, there was an incident in the summer of 1961 before I went away to college where I felt actually aroused in a certain situation, became very significant to me. Um, and in the long run, in my case, I feel if I had been physically competitive, as a, I would have been much more likely to be interested in women. I know that's not the normal view today. Um, and maybe there is epigenetics. That's probably true um but i was not there i was not in the space of being in a minority i had to kind of prove myself that was the way things were um so i sort of developed a reciprocal attitude toward people and i would make friends with people that weren't exciting you know i went through a period where actually coming out and actually experiencing something holy was a big deal and it took a lot of attention in my, say, in, my, in the 1970s um, when I moved to New York and everything. But, yeah, I would have friendships with people who were not necessarily, I was not necessarily interested in the course I did. But I would not want to have anything to do with people simply because they were part of a community or a tribe and simply because they needed something. I didn't have that kind of bonding. So, yeah, that's an issue, and that's kind of the way it evolved. So that's the way I would start I would start the discussion.